Hello, beta testers. Kyel here. To review the weekly update for Marvel's Avengers, January 21st, 2021. After four months, surely this game's got its shit together. And it'll have more than just different color skins. Expecting $15 for them. I actually love this screen. Wish I could choose which Avengers to pose here. Shame, it's not available on more than just the main menu. But I guess you wouldn't want to show off all your characters' looks in a game where you're trying to sell skins, right? Well, on to the cosmetics. Ugh, right off the bat, that's going to be a big oof from me. I, this was the Hulk from the launch of the game. I, um, I'm not sure what to say. Looking down at these nameplates, there's Kate Bishop, Young Avenger, a girl Hawkeye. Uh, here's Miss Marvel, Young Avenger. Um, Iron Man at the... Sweet God, that's... That's Riri Williams. Oh no, oh no, oh no. If you thought Kate Bishop or Kamala Khan was forced, you wouldn't even be able to handle the origin story for Ironheart. People don't like Riri Williams. And it's not because she's black. It's because she is a poorly written character. She randomly told the white teacher that she wanted to be a scientist. And when the white teacher said, that's great, Riri got mad because the teacher was supposed to be racist. She wants to be a scientist and her teacher is behind it. And then she basically begs her teacher to be a racist to her. This is the same incredibly narcissistic Riri Williams, right? Like the one whose parents got killed in a shooting. One was killed in a drive-by. I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm blacker than black, and I'm black, y'all. Now, I am by no means saying that Riri is a great character. In fact, she's probably my least favorite of Marvel's recent editions, and she has a lot of problems from a storytelling perspective. She's so smart. One of the smartest people in the Marvel Universe. Yup, yup, she's so smart. She don't need anyone or anything. Just kidding, she's a thief. She knocks off Iron Man's suit by stealing one of Tony's old suits. I'm black, 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 I'm black, black. So smart that instead of creating her own armor, she just steals someone else's and slaps her name on it. You know, I feel like I've heard this one before. The suit is literal perfection. It will be. When it fits a woman. <laughs> Got a Miss Marvel with X-Men colors here. Uh, that's it. If I'm being honest, I would buy this Iron Man skin, but for $15? Come on now. Not happening. Let's take a look at this Kate Bishop skin. What they don't want you to do is look at her next to her comic book counterpart. But if you do look... Mm, you recognize another lazy, unfortunate disgrace to the Marvel property. It's perplexing when even the new characters aren't getting any love. These are the ones you're trying to push. It's nice to know that you are equal when it comes to making skins ugly. Marvel's Avengers, you're turning into my Joker. I fear we're going to end up doing this dance forever. But it's nice to know that some things never change. But I want you to change. That seems to be the thing that people are confused about. But I've never been worried about people. I only wanted this game to be good. Which is why it's always weird when you got liars like Miller throwing words in Kyle's mouth. Oh, Kyle spin facts. Kyle spin facts. Bro, the guy's pissed that the characters have short hair and they look like lesbians or whatever the fuck. Isn't it interesting that nobody seems to be able to provide a clip or audio of me saying what he claims that I've said? You know why? Because I never said it. And even though I was willing to tolerate nonsense from this boy on the internet, why is he sifting through my old content to post my shit onto his YouTube channel and then take the link and pin it to his Twitter? You aren't embarrassed to be acting this stupid? It's very nice to see Super Rebel and Lejeune make videos condemning doxing because since we can all agree it's disgusting, it's weird how none of them seem to care about the senior moderator of the Marvel's Avengers subreddit, Charles Logan, accusing me of doxing. And for those who missed it, Charles Logan personally messaged me calling me baby, joined my Discord, immediately tagging me and telling me that he's keeping an eye on my activity. After I banned his ass, he immediately jumped to Twitter to tag me and write, quote, 
imagine wanting to fuck him, so I blocked his ass. All in the same day, by the way, and since that wasn't enough, he privately messaged my girlfriend. He refuses to admit and has yet to publicly apologize for his disgusting behavior, but has inadvertently admitted to messaging Dia privately by sharing the message on his Twitter with the this is all I said, it's not that bad defense. Now help me out viewers, if you post on the Marvel's Avengers subreddit regularly, can you comment on how many times you've been privately messaged by Charles Logan? Is it none? If so, and you post regularly, that's weird. You know why? Dia only made three posts, just three. But you know what? She dared to question the actions of this Kyle obsessed weirdo, Charles Logan, Play Avengers senior moderator, messaging me on Reddit, joining my Discord to creepy message me, tagging me on Twitter and messaging my girlfriend personally, accused me of doxing him. And what evidence does he have after he accused me of such a serious thing? Oh, just a picture of his public Discord profile with the visible and publicly linked Reddit account exposing himself as the same senior moderator, a profile that I wouldn't have even seen had he not joined, may I remind you, and immediately dispensed the cringe, forcing me to click his name to ban him. Many of the people in my Discord have been with me much longer than Marvel's Avengers or even this channel has been a thought, and we all have way less tolerance to the cringe you're bringing to my doorstep than I let on. Y'all may not know that this community has been teeming with this manner of toxicity because Kyle's been a lightning rod by simply telling the truth for all of what people consider toxic. But doesn't this put the weirdos resorting to targeted harassment into perspective? God bless Dia. Going to bat for me because she'd normally want nothing to do with this online cringe since I've taught her well enough to know that these losers feed on attention. But after watching Miller lie, post videos with my full name on his personal YouTube and then pin it to his Twitter, all we can both think of are the words that came out of this sad little boy's own mouth. I lick their balls, I lick their balls, I drink the jizz, I drink the jizz of Crystal Dynamics. I'm just another fucking shill, like. This is him projecting. This little boy is literally and publicly triggered, shaking over memes and pictures, and I know some of you guys like chaos, but don't encourage this guy. Help him get the help he needs. Twitter's cracking down on him. People in my Discord talking about they're the subject of targeted harassment from him. Why? Because you like a Marvel game? You ain't ashamed to stoop to some of these people's level if they're trying to get at you? You know how much I'd love to be making tutorials or let's plays with this game if there were content, but I'm not gonna lie. Is that a good foundation to start something on? I'm real about a video game that some of these people made their life about, but their deep sadness has nothing to do with me. Did Charles Logan think posting the explanation for his message would make it less fucking creepy? The fact of the matter is, you messaged her. People drop hundreds of posts on the subreddit and you don't message them privately, personally, but you did it with her and it only took three messages. And instead of admitting it and owning up to it like a man, you out here on that, oh, oh, well, actually, like a bitch. You ain't gonna admit shit. You ain't gonna take responsibility for shit. You don't get to flex your dirty relationship with your wannabe partner after you're sending mine private messages. After how many posts? Three posts on a public subreddit because she dared to address your lies and sidestepping. If you're really with a real woman, you should want her to live in a world free of the types of unwarranted targeted harassment you have subjected Dia to. For her daring to voice an opinion, well, she should be back in the kitchen? You know, I'm not saying that you said that. I'm not Miller. I'm not going to put words in people's mouths. You've yet to apologize because you're busy hitting that bruh, dude, like you're an internet fucking cool guy, right? You're a fucking creep. Charles Logan. You're a fucking creep. 
you sought a man across three platforms with the confidence of a predator who gets away with this often. So much so that you abandoned all reason. This wasn't your first time, not based on your behavior. I'll make sure you're remembered not for me, not for Dia, not for the people whose opinions you disagreed with so hard that you fucking erased them, but so that people can see who and how you act and are. You've lost the functioning brain portion of the stretch where you should have realized that it's time to stop. I saw someone in the Twitter thread saying that they reached out to your partner and made sure to tell him that I don't condone that kind of behavior because even if I were the type to stoop to your level, I'd never be able to abandon what it means for me to be a man enough to beef with a dude's girl because of something that started between him and I. You a bitch. You're a loser. And I hope karma acquaints you with exactly what you deserve. Charles Logan, may God have mercy on your soul. Listeners, I absolutely love you and appreciate your opinions, positive or negative, as you deserve a voice as long as you're not targeting or attacking people. People like Charles will always spin the narrative saying you're toxic for, for exposing people for the very public nonsense that they spew. But a reminder, in reference to Miller, he's a liar, a weirdo, but could also just be stupid. In reference to people like Jon Snow, he's a shill, diving into my girlfriend's Twitch stream to spew lies about dates that don't exist gets downvoted by the whole community for telling them to be patient after four months. If that's toxic, I guess the whole damn community should be banned. But specifically as it pertains to Super Rebel, would you know I appreciate and respect the guy, even if I disagree with his opinions. He's been in my stream chat, and I tease him for being the hustler that he is, but him and I have no beef. And even if we did, it'd be none of your damn business. I don't know why you out here putting on a fucking bath towel pretending to be superhero like your sheriff of the goddamn internet, bitch. Like, Links in the description if you're interested in this Twitter nonsense. What I hope we can do is move forward. But we already know it ain't gonna be with the update of this game anytime soon. Oh my god. <laughs>